But chicken's normally really expensive. Yeah, so ten, about 10 euros. Yeah, but we bought a quail yesterday for four euros, didn't we? It wasn't we? a quail. So is it cheaper, food shopping wise, to live in France? And I'm gonna say, Any of that roll intro. <laughs> most tip of the southwest of France. A short intro today because running a little bit behind uh, but thank you for all your messages and uh, and donations. I'll uh, yeah I'll talk about that a little bit later on once we've taken the kids to school and, and then come back but uh, yeah we're a bit flustered because we're a bit behind and uh, yeah so whatever next is let's do that. Fellas, these ones? I thought so. Thank you slow-mo. So let's go from here to here. Action. So Action is amazing. It's a Dutch company uh, that's uh, all over Europe. And I, I can best describe it as like, you know, the middle aisle of um, Aldi and Lidl, where you can go in there and um, just buy, um, well, weird stuff. It's, it's a shop that's just like that. So we'll take it in.
anticipating doing a, a shopping video today, but that's how it turned out. Uh, I always feel guilty doing the shopping videos, but I know some people like it. Like Liz Butler, she loves a good shopping video. Or oh, a sleeping bag today. The last time I was in a sleeping bag was in, right, January the 15th, 1996. And that was when I was going for my police assessment in a, in a place called uh, Abba Dovey in uh, mid Wales. It was called the Dovey Assessment. It was quite tough, but I was all right because I'm ex-army, so it was fine for me. But the sleeping bag that I had, the zip didn't work. So I was freezing all night. But, uh, but the reason why I bought it was because um, my mate, Ben, my best mate, Ben, that I've known since the age of 12, um, his dad's got a house in the door doing. Um, I filmed that. I'm gonna go and see him, and uh, and his son, and his uh, nephew, and his dad. So anyway, um, the weather's shocking here today. So uh, I'm gonna go down and see the horses. I'll film man for a while. Wally, Bell, hello, sunshine. Let's go see Belle, she's sulking. Hello? Hello, darling. Hello. Mummy's giving you a fringe. <laughs> I want to give a few shout outs to uh, the Movember cause. Massive shout out to James Clark, the big JC. He's massive. He's about eight foot tall. I don't think he's as tall as Gary Barlow, some though. And a big shout out to Pamela Taylor. Thank you. It's amazing. It's really good. All right. I've got to do the bottle bang today. I can't be bothered filming it. I just can't be bothered filming it. What am I doing tomorrow, Wednesday? Kids are off. Not much. <laughs> Big shout out to Cindy Duvall. Apologies if I've uh, mispronounced that. She's from America and has managed to uh, donate to the Movember calls, which I'll put a link in the description and it'll be the first comment, if I remember. So we're off to go and pick up the children from school. I'll see you tomorrow. some kindling <laughs> so it seems as though now, now that I've had this YouTube channel for over a year it seems that summer is predicated by me mowing the lawn <laughs> and winter is going to be predicated by me chopping hogs and doing kindling bonjour is that that? <laughs> anyway um, I've got a few shout outs just bear with me right so I've got Received a donation from Robert Meacham. Um, 
Robin Lola. Portishead, it says. So I'm getting all confused. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, yeah, so thank you for that donation. And they want to know um, what song I use a lot. I do tend to use the same songs a lot. Um, something California. Because we love it. Is it this one? When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the. No? Okay. Is it this one? So turn it up, don't never stop. It's no? This one. The way your body feels so tired. To get I don't know that. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, let's do some kindling. Good afternoon, everybody. We've got the camera shy Lisa here, and we're going to be talking about is it cheaper to shop in France or is it more expensive? It depends what you're buying. Exactly. So, what do you find really, really expensive? Well, I was going to say chicken, apart from the chicken that we bought yesterday. Well, the that was on offer. So if you buy the eco stuff, which is probably the equivalent of a <coughs> Tesco value, Tesco value, that's quite cheap, isn't it? That's quite reasonable. Yeah, but but chicken's normally really expensive. Yeah, so ten about ten euros. Yeah, well, we bought a quail yesterday for four euros, it didn't we? It wasn't a quail. <laughs> it was a small chicken, so yeah. it's smaller than our small chicken, but it was like five euros. Yeah. On offer. In um, Leclerc, so you Leclerc. Get... They wouldn't understand if you if you said Leclerc. They think you're talking about lightning. <laughs> so I got it from there. How about no. how about cauliflower? Depends on the season. But and, and it does though, doesn't it? Because it doesn't depend on the season in the UK. Yeah, but now I don't like cauliflower. I like cauliflower. <laughs> 
in England and I was after getting a cauliflower here and it was always five euros for a cauliflower. Yeah. So I eventually got a cauliflower because it came down to one euro 99. And when I got that cauliflower, it in every single, whatever it's called, florette, there was a bug. Oh. So I had show to... how, how fresh it was and they don't use pesticides then. Yeah. <laughs> I had to clean every floret. Yeah. How about um, how about wine? <laughs> it's very cheap. It's very cheap. <laughs> it is very cheap. You can get a bottle of wine, I think, for a euro. Not that I've got a bottle of wine for a euro, but I do like their Prosecco, which is an even two euros. It's like 186, isn't it? Yeah. And if you get the Brut, yeah. it's probably a better name. Then. But yeah, well, I it, call it brute. If you if you get the J, JP Chimay, Chimay, which is like a high value one in the UK. In the UK, yeah. You'd probably be paying about twelve pounds for that, wouldn't you? It's not demi sel. It's demi sec. Demi sec, yeah. It's not half. It's not half salt. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it's not demi sel. I was sitting there thinking, but yeah, it's demi sec, not demi sel. Um, so there's no salt in it. No, and frexenay. Frexanet. Frexanet. Don't know. Uh, that's about twelve pounds. But for it, in the UK, you're yeah. paying about six euros for it. Yeah, it's half the price. I'm not really sure about whiskies and stuff. I think I think it's slightly cheaper, but I think you're very sure about whiskies. <laughs> but I'm on about the price. I'm not. I'm not really sure about the price, about the value of it. Well, I think it is a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Well, we don't have whiskey here, do we? No, we have bourbon. Bourbon. We have cheap Daniels, is what I call it, because I don't want to be spending proper money on Jack Daniels. Um, <clears throat> we also went clothes shopping yesterday in Gimo. Gimo. Yeah, I didn't buy anything this time, no. No, but what do you reckon to the value of the clothes in? Mm, yeah, it's not too bad for the price. I think I paid €19.99 Euros for my jumpers, and they're really nice quality. And I found out when I looked at the label, I thought one of them was polyester, but actually it's Mongolian wool. Oh. So it's going to have to go on a special cycle, all yeah. on its own. When you spin bike? <laughs> no, in the uh, <coughs> washing machine. So I have to be careful of that one. Whereas I don't think uh, clothes are that much... I think they're actually quite expensive. I I'm still wearing all my clobber, all my gear from that I bought back in the UK. And so um, I'm letting it rot off before I replace it. When we did the A Place in the Sun episode, the, the where they, where are they now? Um, I had to buy a pair of shorts and a, and a T-shirt. That came to like 60 euro. Oh. And I would have never have paid that in the UK for that stuff. Is that why you're asking me to do a chat? It's because you need to break the news that the outfit that you're actually wearing Mommy. on A Place in the Sun yeah. isn't actually your outfit. You had to wear it. I'm going to try and claim it back. <laughs> so what do you think of the shop action? Um, so I could walk into action and not need anything. Hmm. Or maybe one thing. I just need to pop in there because your favourite crisps are in there, aren't they? Yeah. So I just pop in there for one thing and then I end up coming out with a whole bag of stuff. We yeah. did that yesterday. And we did it before. I think I actually filmed it where we went in with a with a basket and then we had to go and change it for a trolley. So yeah, whatever we walk in with, we have to... So if we walk in with nothing, we have to go and grab a basket. If we walk in with a basket, we have to go and grab a trolley. So it's always best to start with nothing. And then if we go in with a trolley, we have to go and hire a van. <laughs> but um, yeah, so on the whole, is it cheaper to live in France at, and I will do a video on utilities as well at some point to discuss that. But uh, is it is it cheaper in terms of shopping? I, I don't think we've changed our budget. Um, I think really the only thing that I find expensive is um, the meat compared to yeah home. But you can always, as long as you're not being silly and have to have chicken on a certain day or you can buy it and then freeze it and you're okay with like 
um, taking the product out of the freezer and then doing it for, you know, having it another day. As long as you're not exact with the day that you need the meat, then it's okay. Because you can get deals. Yeah. Or I buy the big mints and separate it up for two separate meals because the bigger, um, if you buy bigger, then it's better quality. Uh, not quality, what's the word? Value for money? Value for money. And what I we have discovered is that usually back in the UK, if you bought um, like a single can of Coke and it will cost uh, a euro, say for example, you, and you say, right, I, I tell you what, I'll buy the four pack oh, yeah. and it's going to be cheaper. It isn't. It's, a, it's more expensive. Um, whereas, it's better to buy it singular than it is in a multi-pack. That's what we found anyway. Uh, you, you let us know in the comments if we've got it wrong or we're, we're, we are shopping in the in the wrong way but we found that on a number of products now and the same with beer as well it's uh sometimes it's cheaper to buy four um small six packs than it is to buy the 24 pack mm. isn't it but you do get a good surprise so if you go into the fruit and veg aisle which is my favorite place i try and find like the bits that are on offer rather than actually going in with oh i need this this and this mm. it's just what is the product that's the cheapest for the day yeah. It's a surprise. <laughs> it is a surprise. So, is it cheaper, food shopping wise, to live in France? And I'm going to say, the answer is no. Right. Well, the weather's it's definitely changed. I always say we are in the southwest of France. We are the northernmost tip. But there are people in the proper southwest of France who are. Uh, who just like to gloat? I'll show you. Actually, Rob, this one's for you. <laughs> Who needs sunglasses? Thanks, Richard. So you can play that game. Leaves one last thing left to say. And it's not from me. And it is from me, Laters.